This year, as we've been unable to gather physically for worship and prayer and fellowship, one of the silver linings is that I've been able to gather a physical collection of icons right here in my office as both a reminder as well as an invitation to a life of prayer. Advent is a season ripe for iconography and prayer. Advent is the season that both leads us to and prepares us for God's appearance in flesh in human history. It prepares us for the God who will come to us and become the icon, the image of the invisible God. And during this season, the season of Advent, the icon I pray with most consistently is known as Our Lady of Sorrows. It's an icon of Mary, Mary alone with seven swords that pierce her heart. And for me, this icon is a reminder that the Jesus for whom I prepare, the God for whom we await, brings a joy, yes, but a joy that bears the pain of the world. It is no hollow or shallow joy. And the joy that this God invites us into includes the joy of following him, trusting him, as we too learn to bear the pain of the world. And so I pray with Mary, the one in the life of the church who supremely learned to entrust herself to God's loving care, the one who embodies that, the one who beckons us and invites us to become a people of prayer and to entrust ourselves to God, trusting that any pain or sorrow we experience will also be taken up by God to bring life and joy and healing to our world. 